Everybody sing bless, bless, bless. Sometimes it's hard to get your day started and actually start focusing on God first thing. One of the reasons is because our cell phone is our alarm clock is right there next to us. Or if you got kids, they done ran in the room, you know, some crisis and you jumping out of bed because somebody got a runny nose, <laughs> whatever it is. But there's so much that can actually keep us from starting our day God focused. So today I'm going to give you five hacks and these are hacks because these are things that I have used whenever I feel like I've gotten out of my rhythm and I want to make sure that I'm starting my day God focused. Get your day started thinking in the right direction. Let's go. So if you happen to use your phone as an alarm, I'm not going to tell you not to do it because you may have heard it before and you tried it and now you're back to using your cell phone again. So if you are going to use your cell phone as an alarm clock, my first two hacks have to do with that. First, I want you to make the words across the screen say an actual scripture or say a statement that helps you remember to put God first. For example, on my cell phone, I actually have, girl, God is waiting on you. That is a phrase and it's like a running emoji behind it. So when I turn to hit my alarm in bold letters, that is what's across my screen. Girl, God is waiting on you. Okay, that's been a major reminder for me that God wants to talk to me every day, every day, just like he wants to talk to you every day. Second, I want you to have your alarm set to a song and not just a song that says, get up, you know, today's a great day or because I'm happy, you know, no. I want it to be a song that actually pumps you up in God. It actually has statements or phrases or the course. It's something that you need to be repeating in order to get your mood and get your mindset for that day. Be very specific about that song. Not just excited, but what do the words say? So you've left the room, you've gotten ready for the day. You were in the kitchen either packing up your lunch or making coffee. I want you to play the Bible out loud. Now some people like to read their phone devotionals at this time, which is cool. But if you haven't actually played scripture out loud and repeated it as well, this is some powerful stuff. The Word of God is powerful. I want you to say it out loud. Some of my favorite books of the Bible to actually play out loud is Philippians, Galatians, and Colossians. They're just great reads because they're written by Paul and they're written to a body of Christ, right? They're written to a church and so it has a very smooth transition, very uh, convicting read and also just very challenging so and encouraging. So I love playing those but consider playing the Bible out loud from your Bible app, whichever one that you use. In the morning, I think it's really important to commit to making your scroll time, that's your Instagram, Facebook, all of that, or TV shows even. Maybe some of you just love the news, so it's one of the first things you turn on in the morning. I would ask you to make those incentives for your prayer time. Meaning, until I pray, I'm not going to. Until I pray, Today, I got at least five undistracted minutes with God. If you're starting at zero, I would say shoot for five. If I have five undistracted minutes with God, five solid undistracted minutes, then my reward is I'm scrolling IG. My reward is I'm watching the news or whatever it may be. Make the things that take the place of what you know you need to do to build your spirit. Make those things incentives instead of putting the incentive in building your life around all of this stuff that just makes you feel good on the outside, but the inside is withering away, make those kind of on the back burner. Put those on the back burner. Make God the priority and put those things to the side as incentives. Consider having an accountability prayer partner. That means somebody that you set a certain time in the morning that you call and y'all get on the phone and you pray. And whether that person shows up or not, you are praying in that time. It's so important that you build your spirit up so that way you can spiritually hear and be sensitive to stuff throughout your day, especially in a time where so many things are happening in the world. You want to make sure you are connected. So 
if it takes you know a lot to get you up and praying in the morning just move your clock up 10 minutes before you normally would wake up give yourself two minutes to kind of shake the crackling out your eye and then move through your uh, move through the remaining eight minutes of actually talking to God listening to the Bible saying the word and I promise you will see a difference in your life so make sure that you have subscribed, but most importantly, I want you to visit ispriscillaby.com and I want to see your name roll into my email list. This email list allows me to send you this type of encouragement. I'm going to be doing some exclusive things specifically for those who are following me in this way. I also do a monthly giveaway. I draw names from this email list and I give good stuff away, child, good stuff. So make sure you're not missing out on that and I'll see you on the next video.